What is up guys, this is Silver Warrior here, and in this video I just want to discuss what I am kind of calling the uh, sad truth, if you will, about uh, these currently very low silver prices. And simply put, the truth of the matter is that for the first time really that I've ever witnessed, I'm sure this has happened before, but for the first time, you know, at least in a long time for precious metals, particularly silver, the universally agreed upon price is not the price that's dictating what silver is selling for. In fact, if you look at this screenshot from Atmex's homepage, which will be linked in the description below, uh, this was taken earlier today, you can see a one ounce silver round, which is just, mind you, a generic silver round. This, there's nothing special about this round whatsoever, it's just generic silver, lowest premium bullion you're going to really find. You can see it says as low as 1713. Now, this is one ounce. The same exact ounce, obviously, that's being valued at around $12 currently. So you're talking about a $5.13 markup on that. And that's as low as. So that's if you pay with the right method that they want. And that might even be a bulk price. You know, you might have to buy a bunch of them just to get it that low. So it might be even higher than that if you're trying to just place a small order. So taking advantage of this low price is simply not really realistic and i mean the biggest thing is that silver i mean gold yes it is down from where it was let's say a few weeks ago or a month ago but silver based upon its historical prices is down way more than gold is and that's reflected here you know these sellers can afford to sell gold at reasonable prices right now but they simply cannot afford to sell silver at a price that's reasonable in relation to the current melt value. Just to really exemplify how much more of a premium there is on the silver than there is on the gold. And mind you, the gold, if anything, would you would think would have a little bit of a higher premium on it just because of the fact that it's an actually a highly recognizable brand that certified it. And usually something like that's going to carry a little bit more weight to it, a little bit more of a premium to it, I should say, than... Uh, just a generic one ounce round of silver but in this particular instance you can see if you subtract the price that they're selling the silver round for which is 17 13 and that's the lowest price you can get i use the lowest for both uh, if you subtract the actual melt value of silver of 1202 there's a five dollar and 11 cent markup whereas on the gold piece you can see subtracted the gold melt value versus their lowest price and there's a 63 dollar and 69 cents markup on that ounce of gold and what does this look like as percentages? Because you might think, well, the gold is a bigger markup. But if you were to spend an equivalent amount of money on each, you would be losing a lot more money to the premium when buying the silver than you would with the gold because of the fact that there is a 42.5% markup on that silver round, whereas there's only a 4.3% markup from the melt value to the price that you're paying. So again, I mean, this just really shows you how crazy the premiums are and this is on atmex.com's homepage. so these are the biggest you know silver dealers out there the people that can probably afford to sell lower than any other dealer really can because they're able to pay the lowest prices that's what they're offering and it's important to note that most stuff anyway at least silver wise is actually out of stock right now which they say out of stock to me it's more like we can't afford to sell this low so we're just not going to sell but Regardless of the case, it's very hard to find silver for sale to begin with. And if you can, taking advantage of such a low price is simply almost implausible. Now, I did discuss this in one of my other recent videos, uh, just discussing you know how low silver prices were and everything. But I actually found a historical chart online, which again will be linked in the description below. Um, but what this really does is just kind of uh, demonstrate in visual format what I was talking about with just how insane the uh, silver to gold price ratio really has gotten and you can see over the last decade it has never been as high as it is here in March of 2020 and now it is important to know each bullet point represents like several months and then the next point back is probably like November of 2019 so really in 2020 this has been going on for a little while now but you can see on the chart never before really for a period of time was it above you know, 92, 93 uh, ounces of silver for every ounce of gold. And uh, what I'm talking about here with price ratio is just that 
basically what it, all that means is you could buy, you know, at whatever point, like right now, you can buy 124 ounces of silver for one ounce of gold if you were paying melt. So obviously that's not realistic, but that is what the price ratio says right now. That silver is, you know, only one 124th of the value of gold, which throughout the last decade, that has just never been the case at all, which again really shows you just how much lower silver prices are in relation to even gold, historically speaking. And that is simply why nobody can really afford to sell silver at a realistic price, whereas for gold, they have no issue continuing to do so. Uh, and that, unfortunately for us, makes it pretty impossible to take advantage of just how low silver prices are. So, you know, the sad reality of this situation for us is that the supply is far below the demand right now because when prices go down, a lot more people want to invest in it. And that allows dealers to just artificially inflate the value of it by charging higher prices because of that, you know, much increased demand. And they're also going to decrease the supply because nobody really wants to sell at this price. So if they hold off supply and they're able to continue selling what they can at like $17 an ounce, you know, they have no reason to ever drop their prices down to where we'll be able to take advantage of just how low they've gotten. And even in other places where I actually buy, like Instagram, it's kind of the same thing. Prices are a lot higher if you can find anyone selling stuff. Even there, the prices really don't reflect how low silver's gotten. And they obviously are usually able to sell a lot lower than a big business can. So that just really goes to show no matter where you look, you're not going to be able to, unfortunately, very well take advantage of how low silver has gotten. And in fact, it's only going to make it harder to find for us as time goes on if the prices continue to stay this low. So really, it's just a lose-lose because if you're someone that you know wanted to sell your silver, you'd have to take a big loss right now. And if you want to buy silver, you really can't find it at the price that everyone's freaking out about. So that's all I have to say. I do hope you enjoyed the video. And that is it for this one. Peace.